22% up with the top side of 116 and closing the day upside of the psychological $1 mark. What I can tell you is that momentum and volatility have drastically shifted the side with the bulls and we may have inched a bit closer into a 5-day statistical setup that can lead to a massive 125% upside. Welcome back on this happy Monday. This is Arca and let's dive into ticker symbol VIRI. Let's kill them team. Oh yeah, team, welcome back. And this is gonna be for ticker symbol VIRI. As you know, we have made a pretty nice move to the upside today. Uh, I mean, what was it? A 22% move to the upside. Incredible team, pretty much looking at 72 cents to $1.16 top. Incredible price action. So what could be happening for the next days? Well, let's go ahead and start off with the immediate short term, right? Or actually the, the relatively ter short term. So I want you to remember that we were talking about this regression band right where we uh, practice this crazy, uh, 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 <clears throat> well, what is it, the replay, right? So we replayed this move here from January 18th, uh, 2022. And this play actually showed this downside here, bottom side of the support on that regression band. We broke upside, touched that support, and then capitulated. Upon that capitulation, we started expanding the, the regression bands, and it took approximately 15 months to create the support touch of which we just faced on friday so that friday bounce was the reason we were able to tell that there could be a massive bounce to the upside coming in regarding the recession uh, the, the regression bands and what do you know we absolutely got that massive bounce to the upside team and now we closed perfectly i'm talking about perfectly to the to the bottom side of the uh, resistance range that we spoke of on friday look at this 102 let's get rid of that Price action, 102. Very nice. But we were talking about a total range of about 102 to 112, of which the price action went up to 116. So our analysis proved to be pretty good. All right, team. So let's go ahead and now move on to the next chart and see what we have, right? So here's what I'm speaking of a potential of a potential uh, move to the upside, right? So, and if we are able to validate this, then it would be incredible for us to start getting an upside pivot here on, Stoc on the, uh, sorry, on the uh, yeah stochastic stochastic momentum indicator can't even speak English right now pardon me <laughs> right so I want to point out this yes it is to the downside right now but the price action that we have led here could be found tomorrow upon market closure or the following day why is that well take a look at right over here 19 minutes and 20 I'm sorry 19 yeah 19 hours and 21 minutes to close this five day iteration here which would then show us what would happen to these moving averages based around the closure of this time period okay so I'm very curious to see what what uh, can be fired there because if this pivots towards the upside that team can lead to a, ma a massive move, 125% to the upside of which can take us down to the target of about $2.41, pretty much recovering 100% of what we lost, right? So it's not fired yet. It is still uh, it is still th uh, theoretical, right? So, But we're waiting for the signals to fire. If that's a possibility, that would be great. If it's not, then we'll go ahead and take a look at other potentials. Okay, team, so let's move on to the next chart here and see what we have. Okay, so this is the four-hour time frame here. What I want to point out here is that in the four-hour, we have reclaimed the inside of the SMA 10 band. Okay, so that is the moving average, and now we broke upside of it, tested, tested, and now we're moving on to that upside. I do see that we have the SMA, uh, I'm sorry, this is the EMA 9. I, I understand that we have that EMA 9 right here, but it's okay, it's okay. I do think that we may have a pretty nice upside coming in. First of all, notice here on volatility versus momentum on the four-hour time frame, we have a massive upside pivot here we have critical volatility maxed out in expansion we have also the MACD potentially creating a bullish cross over here and we've already made the bullish cross on the four hour RSI and uh, one more thing actually stochastic momentum versus money flow index SMI versus MFI you're looking at the stochastic momentum pivoted towards the upside just like it is here but that's not the point take a look at the money flow we're actually getting the blue bars printing here that means dispersion of returns inbound okay so there is cash pouring into the asset as we are moving to the upside okay team so let's go ahead and now look at uh, another time frame here so let's just see the uh, going back right so yeah nice very very aggressive upside pivot here on the three-day exponential in the three hour by hourly time frame also has a pretty nice uh, actually this is showing a, a bit of a pullback right so if we are able to get a, a pullback here can that oh it's actually very temporary that may not last very long at all so if, it, if in fact we do get some type of a pullback here this may be a little aggressive but still anywhere between 
uh, wow. Uh, yeah, it, it's suggesting it, uh, about 104. <laughs> All right, so let's just go ahead and take 104 into consideration, right, and make a range out of it for ourselves. Uh, let's see, closing of this candle here. We have the wick low of this candle right over here, right? And we also have, very, I mean, a lot of confluence here, right? So I would say a total range of 103 to 104. If we do get an immediate short-term pullback for a continuation to the upside, this would essentially be the next uh, range for uh, simulator trading, right? We are talking about to the, the paper trading panel. We go ahead into the trading view trading panel here. We make sure to connect the paper trading account and we are ready to start simulating. We got to keep retail safe, right team? So this is what I mean by entry here. This would be your simulator entry so that you can be able to get that price to the upside, right team? We are using live market data and live in real time market data here provided by TradingView software. If you do need an account, if you do need to acquire an account, please go ahead and visit the description below where you will find the account link. And that is actually my affiliate link, which would, de which would definitely help my trading future out team. So go ahead and try that if you can. So now let's go ahead and look at the last part of the analysis here. This is very on the RSI. Okay, so this is 30 minute immediate short term time frame. Consolidation period is entirely okay. Same situation here with the buy hourly time frame. And I, uh, yeah, take a look at this right here. We're starting to get a little bit of an upside pivot here on the four hour time frame. Same situation within the 12 hour, a little bit of resistance on that top side. So if I can, if I can be clear here, it looks like the shorter time frames need to be pushing a little bit harder here in order for us to validate a continuation to the upside everything is looking pretty good for the asset thus far i don't see any any type of uh, uh any type of hindering of the price action in fact if we were able to kind of gauge a range here then there is a high probability that we can look at the anywhere be, this may be the new top zone that we get uh kind of J just like price action like this right so this may be the next validation signal or validation range before a continuation to the upside we'll see we'll go ahead and keep an eye on this so go ahead and come by on the live stream 6 30 a.m pacific time that's when i start right right at market open and we uh evaluate a bunch of tickers so come by say hi hang out with a bunch of smart people and uh we should be all good team so please remember not to take anything of which i show and iterate within these videos as a form of uh, financial advice as I cannot suggest for you to buy, sell, or hold any assets whatsoever, I need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be cool, cool. But with that said, team, I wish you well, a very, very good night, and I will catch you at the bell. Manana. Adios. Yeah.